I had to address this. The TNT crew had some interesting conversation last night. I'm enjoying Shaq, Wade, Candace. Candace finally got rid of the hat. Looks good. Looks good. But there was this one was going around on social media. Someone, you know, the Knicks fans, it, in true New York style, right? I, I love I love New Yorkers. I love the brash confidence. I, I'm with it. But someone brought up this debate. Hey, Julius Randle is better now than Chris Bosh ever was. Julius Randle is better than Chris Bosh, essentially, is what this Nick fan was saying. What adds to this juice in this comparison, you go, well, why are we comparing these guys? But then you take a look at who they are. They're both from Dallas, Texas, and they're both lefty power forwards. At this point, it's low-key disrespectful to compare the two. But here's the thing. If you're Julius Randle, you've entered the conversation. Someone's brought it up. It's a debate. Now go get it because you got a lot of catching up to do. When it's all said and done, if Julius Randle's career, it, it may not be disrespectful. It's disrespectful at this point to compare the two because, but that's not to say that Randle can't play catch up and make it more of a conversation. And I think the playmaking element that we're seeing from Randle, this point forward that, that he's become, is where he could close the gap between the two. Now, is he going to ever get a chip? You know, I, that's going to be tough to, to match resumes. But if we just want to talk about as a player, skill for skill, you know, I think that that's where he could play some catch up because Chris Bosch had a wetter, right? His shit was pure. Julius Randle, you know, he got a, he got a squirt gun, right? Like he, he's making them. I still almost don't believe it, right? But the percentages are what they are. I don't think he'll ever be the shooter that Bosch is. And, you know, I, I, I thought Wade did a good job explaining. It, it kind of goes back to really the point I was making earlier in the podcast where stars masquerading as superstars. And Chris Bosch was that probably as well, right? Where in Toronto, he was a superstar and then he found his rightful role as a star on a championship team. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this thing up, man. We got a couple more games here before the All-Star break. And the Hezzy, I'll probably do one episode after the All-Star game and then take a little breather during the break before the games pick back up. Y'all see Steph entered the three-point competition. And about an hour later, Dame dropped out. Huh. This is the Hezzy, brought to you by BasketballGods.net. I'm out, y'all.